If only I could finish something Run straight through to the end Close a chapter dignified Dang girl you did it again But will it ever be enough When oh, yeah, New York. I'm trying to keep it tough What do I actually will want? Ask themselves that. No, if everyone asked themselves that question, I feel like the world would be a much better place. Things are happening. I'm so excited and I really hope everything comes together and comes to fruition. I have been dreaming of this since 2019 and even back then my maker bestie and I we were actually in the planning process of putting together a retreat for other adventurous outdoorsy makers, small business owners, and it is happening. And so if you haven't seen my Instagram or my stories, I am collaborating with Trova Trip to put together a retreat for other creative, outdoorsy, adventurous gals. Basically, we would be traveling together and my plan is to also host a couple of like retreats or masterminds or little, you know, crafting activities that we can all actually talk biz as well. So even if you don't have a business, this is basically geared towards people who want to live a more creative life and who want to have the freedom and to take control over their own destiny basically and so I just am so excited to finally meet in person some of my maker friends and hopefully build more of a community and like real in-person connection while doing something really fun too. I'm just so excited because I've been thinking about it for so long and it's just finally in this planning phase. But anyway, this morning I was texting with one of my maker friends and I caught up with my sister. I'm just buzzing with ideas and there's just so many things that I want to start implementing in my business and to make changes in. But I'm kind of in that transitional phase because in March, our town actually still has a ton of tourism from spring break and people are still buying hats whereas online everyone's shifting kind of to spring so my online sales have gone way down so I've been trying to balance you know still making hats and winter stuff for the local sales but also starting to transition to and make my spring collection for my website so that's all happening right now and I'm also just so excited and swirling with ideas but today I still need to drop all this stuff off at Ohana we are actually leaving tonight Night for a little weekend getaway but right now I am starving so I'm gonna have some lunch and then I will check back in with you later Downtown is so busy right now. It was so windy last night and a storm blew in and I guess all of the lifts were closed today so everyone is literally downtown. I just restocked Ohana and they only had one hat left and I literally just checked two days ago when I did a local pickup drop off and yeah so like I said earlier it is definitely transitioning to spring online but here in town people are still buying hats which I'm really grateful for but whew, it is a zoo.
so tired this morning. I don't know why because we just had a really relaxing weekend, but I think maybe as I've gotten older, I've just become more of an ambivert than as extroverted as I used to be. And so it's like I'm so energized and relaxed from spending time with friends in a situation like that and like having a really fun staycation. Um, but I also haven't had as much alone time lately, so maybe that's part of it. But I don't know. Interesting to think about. I don't know if this is something you've experienced as you've gotten older, but... I certainly have. But the weekend was so fun. We went to Winter Park, which is another ski resort that's only about an hour and a half away from where we live. Um, and we don't really ski at other places very often because we live in a ski town. But my friend has access to a cabin. And so she was like, you guys should just come and hang out. And it was great. So I did make up some samples um, in some of our downtime of some new spring items that I'm really excited about. Um, I'm putting together the fireside head band. So I have two samples. They're both a little bit different in width, but I don't know if you can see. So I made a thinner one and a thicker one. So I'm not sure which one I like better. I feel like I actually don't look good in headbands, but this one's a little bit wider. Um, and this one is not quite as wide, but still covers all of your ears. I think I like this one better. I don't know. You tell me what you think. But yeah, I am putting together the spring collection. I don't actually know when I'm going to release that because we're actually going on another trip next week. Um, everything's just coming up so fast. This year has just been so wild. So I haven't quite released any spring items to my local shops yet, but I think online people are starting to feel very springy. So I wanna release some spring items on the website. I already have so many ideas for like a summer collection of like hats and totes and things like that, but I can't do them yet. I told myself this year, 2024, my word of the year is focus. So I've been trying to just kind of zoom in a little bit more um, on the things I'm working on and to get those finished first before I think too much and get overwhelmed by the other things that I want to do. But April's almost here. I feel like spring is always just the time of like renewal and rebirth and reawakening. And for my business, April is really the time where I do all of my planning for the next year because in January, it's really my busiest time. So I basically just do a word of the year and have like minor intentions percolating but other than that I'm still focusing on getting as many things made as possible and just keeping up with all of the content and marketing and just things like that and then once spring rolls around I feel like I can really take a step back and do some planning and then when summer hits it's kind of like sharing adventures and things like that but that's where I'm at on the spring collection and if you're also a knitter my friend Emily just released a new headband design that's what we were taking pictures of on our walk earlier she just released a pattern bundle of four different headbands so I'll put her info in the description if you want to check that out I'm not sure when I'll get to releasing the fireside headband knitting pattern, but we'll see because I just released a couple of patterns and this week I really just want to focus on working on the spring collection and then getting Ohana back in stock before I go on my trip. equinox today and the sun is shining and it just feels so good and I don't know I feel very revived I guess I even have my little bee mug from my favorite ceramicist Cedarwood Ceramics she makes beautiful mugs and I have several of them um, but yeah it is the equinox and Usually I actually don't like spring that much. I live in the mountains, so we have what's called mud season, and it's usually just icky and gross, <laughs> and you can't really do anything. Um, I mean, our mud season's not until April or May usually, 
Um, we still have a month of skiing left, but I don't know. This year I feel very excited for the mud season because I have so many ideas for the business and so many changes I want to make, so many seeds that I've planted that I haven't really been able to nurture yet. So I think it's just a good time of year to reflect and kind of look forward to the things that you want to do and grow. So if you have your own business or if you haven't started a business yet but are wanting to, this is just the best time to do it. Um, but yesterday, one of my best friends got really bad news. One of her close family members passed away unexpectedly. And I've been feeling so mixed, I guess, about how to proceed myself with business as usual while one of my best friends is going through such a crazy time. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I went through a very hard grief journey a couple of years ago where I lost three very, very close people to me, all relatively unexpectedly. One was an accident within eight months of each other, and it was the hardest grief I've ever experienced in my entire life. I think before that, I don't know if I've actually experienced that level of grief before. And so I know grief is hard. Death is really hard to talk about. Um, and it's like juxtaposed with this spring coming and lighter days and a time where everyone's just getting excited and reawakening. So it's, I just am feeling a lot of empathy for her journey right now. And it just feels a little bit hard to be writing about, you know, come on this trip and like, happy spring and all this stuff and selling hats and patterns while my friend is going through this. So I just wanted to wait another day to share things on social and in an email. It just, I don't know, you just kind of have to listen to yourself for that kind of thing. It's very hard for me to be just business as usual in this situation. I was just really in shock yesterday when I found out the news, so I just wanted to take some time to process that and sit with it for the day, but I do have a lot of things to do with the business stuff, so it just kind of, I'm just struggling with, you know, sharing my business stuff when my friend's going through something so ter terrible and hard. And it's just the really tragic part of life, and it really makes you think about things and how you operate and what you're doing. So I'm gonna try to draft the email today that I'm gonna send tomorrow. Whenever there's a new season, I always love to put like new intentions and what to look forward to or what to reflect on for the past season to my email list. So um, I'm going to try to think of something for that. My brain is a little bit still just processing all of this stuff. So hopefully I can write something good and helpful. <laughs> I had a very weirdly emotional day. Um, I was just feeling all over the place and so I just took it easy. I had a ton on my to-do list but didn't really end up getting too much of it. But I just really needed to sit down and not do anything I guess. So today actually marks the eight year anniversary of getting into a crazy ski accident where I almost lost my arm. Um, my arm was basically hit by a ski and cut all the way down to the bone. I cut six of my extended tendons so I couldn't open my hand and I ended up having two surgeries just to try to get all of my tendons reconnected. To this day I actually can't lift my index finger so if you're a knitter that's why I taught myself how to knit continental. I used to throw. Um, but that accident really changed the course of my life and for the better. Like, I would not have this business, I would not be where I am today if I didn't get into that accident. At the time, I basically was working 80 hours a week as a chef in a restaurant, like a fine dining restaurant, and I never saw my friends, I never saw Rob, I worked a lot, and I loved it. I was so passionate about that job and doing good work in the kitchen, but I was getting paid very little money, and just getting into this accident and suddenly rattling myself out of that environment, it really gave me the chance to pause and reflect 
and question what I was doing and whether this was even a sustainable lifestyle and what I was doing basically. And so that is what sparked initially my idea for doing the business. I had been knitting casually at the time and then knitting became a therapy for me. And two years later, I basically started Smeeny Beanie Knits. And now I have been four years full time in my business and I have more time freedom than I've ever had in my life. And I'm just so grateful that I got that chance to pause. Of course, I wish I hadn't gotten that accident in the sense of just my function and the trauma of that, but the chance to pause and reflect really changed everything for me. And so I guess I was just feeling really emotional about that today. And I haven't given my chance to pause lately. And, you know, I think I just let a lot of things build up and I was just really in a weird headspace, but I made that post and I felt a lot better and I was kind of like, wow, that was really a wild time and I'm- Oh my god so i am doing a spring equinox tarot spread um i follow almanac supply co and the owner she actually used to do a podcast called being boss which was really awesome one of my favorite business podcasts actually and she doesn't do the podcast anymore but if you want to find old episodes they're all there but emily she um started off as a web designer and graphic designer and then now has a shop that sells like crystals and tarot and basically things that help you live more seasonally and within alignment with the seasons um she also makes candles so she She's a maker too but I've been using tarot basically as a way to spark self-reflection so you know how I've been trying to get the survey responses for this group trip that I want to host it's just like something that I've been excited about for so long and wanting to nurture in the business just seeing that people are also excited about it and would love to come on this trip is so energizing I have discovered for me especially as a small business owner it's not necessarily the knitting specifically that I feel connected to others with. Like, obviously there's like the love of knitting and yarn and that kind of thing. But for me, it's more just like the love of creating a life that you want and the business and the maker aspect of it is just one element of that. And the other is building community and connection. And so I'm just excited to actually be able to nurture that part of what I love about having a small business. Whether you have a business or not, it's more just creating a life that you love. And it's something that we're constantly working towards, right? And for me, that just happens to be having a business, like the creating of the business, the running of the business, and the making changes and evolving and all that stuff, that's all just part of the creativity to me. Um, but anyway, I'm just rambling, but I'm just feeling very inspired and um, so excited that people want to go on a group trip together as well. <laughs> This week ended up being a lower energy week for me and so I think I just really needed to let myself have that and be a little more chill. There's nothing really urgent going on right now in the business other than just creating new things for the spring collection. So I'm still going to be working on that. I'll be working on the headbands and lighter weight beanies. But I hope you're also enjoying the start of this new season and using this time to really reflect on the season past and to maybe plant and nurture new seeds for this next season ahead. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to journey on with you and I will see you in the next video. I'm tired singing.